Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Hokies have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. and fans have filled into Lane Stadium in Blacksburg to watch the awesome pregame festivities, one of college football's best traditions. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Virginia Tech has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Turner from the six. He's out to the 30. Oh, what a hit. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They come out at a five-wide set. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Takes it right and brought down right away. Seems like every game, this guy's in the offense's backfield, bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. Seven yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. First and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Tackle made right around the 48 yard line. That brings him second and five. Two-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 42-yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled right away. They complete that play action pass. Good for seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. From the 35 yard line. Second down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Ready? Black. Quick throw. He's hit and taken down. Game of seven yards. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Here we go. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. Brought 
down around the 22-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack, and they'll fail on fourth down. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He scrambles. Slides down. Virginia Tech's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 48. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 48-yard line, first down. At the 47. There might not be a more naturally gifted defender in the country. He made that play look easy. That's a great tackle at the 44. Third down again. As a man, he'll lose big yards. We played one. This one's scoreless. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Williams to punt. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's on the run. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 49. So they get the first down on the quarterback scramble. This guy just showed what makes him a great dual-threat quarterback. First and 10, ball on the 49. He 
He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. He makes his way out to about the 35. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Caught in a big hit, he stopped at his tracks. That brings him second and five. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. like they've decided to go for it here. Moves up in the pocket and down he goes. Unable to pick up the first down and the ball will change hands. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Now he's scrambling. Good open field tackle. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 39. They got him for a loss. This guy's just an amazing playmaker. I'm sure we'll see him compete on Sunday afternoons. And they make the stop at the 46. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. The Seminoles saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at about the 41. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Glover picks up a yard on the play. That'll make it third and two. Two times, two times. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. 59 Philly! 59 Philly! Ah! 
Roberts for the tight end, but they can't hook up. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Second and ten. Ball on their own 38. throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Well, this secondary has to feel pretty good about locking down the receivers on that drive. Wesley waiting the return. Wesley fields it at the 24. Brought down at the 32. Right now this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. With the pass, incomplete. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it deep. Into coverage, and the defense has it. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Still no score. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Scoreless at halftime, not exactly the first line on the resume of the latest offensive guru or the new mastermind of the latest, fastest, hypest scheme on offense. Yeah, no, we got the pistol, we got the read, we got the shotgun, we got the up-tempo, we, we got all that good stuff. You know what that's equal? What? A donut. A bagel. Zero. Zero points. No points on the scoreboard. The, the offensive genius uh, label needs to be taken back a few notches. Maybe, maybe just settle down for settle for a couple first downs. Genius, you know, rub that genie. Get something going in a positive direction. Maybe, maybe get some yards of offense first before you get the genius title. Because right now it's been uh, defensively. That's the only only place where I see the word genius being apropos. Easy there, Sackmeister. You're taking a little too much glee out of this offensive struggle. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. we got a tight game here. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. Pick up 
A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Has some daylight. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. tries to buy some time very good tackle in space Thompson comes away with five yards on the scramble there that makes it second and six quarterback to locate his receiver past the sticks and get him the ball. That was a great throw. From the 45-yard line, first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Now he's on the move. And now he's going to improvise. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. In the shotgun and five wide out. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle made right around the 22 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. And this play is number eight on the drive. complete he's hit right away it's fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit here Virginia Tech is looking to go up by three the kick is up and they tack on three points looks like they're ready for the kick Turner takes it from the six. They'll bring him down at the 27. The Hokies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. First down. He's scrambling. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 47. Easy, 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 easy. 
He's on the run. Good tackle there in space. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Virginia Tech is up a field goal. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 3-0, Hokies. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. Tackle around the 36 yard line. From their own 36 yard line. First down. Makes it to the 44. From the 44 yard line, it's first down. Makes it to the 34. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out quickly. Inside the 10. Tackled inside the five yard line. First and goal after the big pass play. Virginia Tech is up by three. Looks to the end zone. Interception. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 18. Five wide. He's tackled right around the 20. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play.
throws a laser across the middle. And he's taken down at the 30. That makes it fourth and inches. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Takes it to 36. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Where's it after the right to the halfback? And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Florida State's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Just over two minutes in the game. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. Florida State will have one timeout remaining. tackle immediately that's a loss of about three not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that Williams is the punter Gets to about the 27-yard line. The defenses have certainly been the story in this football. No doubt about it. The defenses have been dominating on both sides of the ball, but one play from either of these offenses could determine the outcome of the ball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's hit immediately. That's a team on the play. That, that makes it second and two. two. The spike will stop the clock. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws incomplete. Broken up. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44. the 38-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. Strike to the receiver, and he's level at the 20 yard line. Spikes the ball. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Short over the middle. 
Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. That's a great tackle at the eight. Touchdown, and that puts them on top.
The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Offense. converts the extra point. An 11 play, 73 yard drive, and the result, seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Glover fields it at the three, and he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. The Hokies have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. From their own 24-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. tries to buy some time brought down right around the 46 yard line they'll get the first down he made the correct decision to tuck it and go Virginia Tech is going to have to use their second time out of the hat we've got a first and ten ball on their own 46 so this is it right here one last play and one last chance to win the game if they can get the Hail Mary they'll pull out the miracle win he chucks it downfield the defender had it and then dropped it Close and competitive all day long. And in the end, a low scoring final. 7 3 FSU. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreet. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.